What do you make of this one? Obviously not the result that you wanted, but it is the second night of a back-to-back. Um, that's what we signed for. Like uh, We do not uh, decide on a schedule. This is NBA, and uh, we got to do a better job of uh, bringing it on on the back-to-back. You know, I thought that uh, for Milwaukee game, we reacted after a couple of losses. We also got to learn how to react after winning a game and bringing it next night as well. I thought that we started the game. We did not have that extra pop. Uh, I thought that Scotty had really good pop to start the game, but we need everything, and uh, we need. We are a team that really depends on every single player that, that touches the floor to bring uh, value to the team and uh, tonight we just did not have enough. Give credit to them, they're a great team. You guys made some runs at them during the game, but in the third quarter like, it got tied and then they kind of put the kind of put the play to the metal late in the third quarter. Just what happened there in terms of what they were able to do late in the game and then in the fourth to kind of put the game away? Yeah, in the third quarter there, uh, um, they kept Embiid on the floor, uh, who played uh, 40 minutes tonight. Uh, we went to our second unit and at that point we, we just did not have uh, enough on uh, both ends of the floor. Um, you know, uh, and yesterday's game, we, we, we were really good with that unit over there. So. Uh, uh, we'll be better for the next game, and uh, we learned a lot uh, uh, in, the, in this game tonight. Are you getting a feel for this team in terms of the guys that come out there and, and, and what you have in terms of what you have out there and what they were able to do? You get kind of a feel now for what they can do now, having gone through the preseason and the regular seasons thus far? Uh, learning a lot, learning every day, uh, learning how guys are reacting to, to certain situations, uh, what they're bringing night in, night out, uh, still trying to figure out rotations, who's in, who's not. Um, it's it's early in the season, but it's it's still a process for us. Do you like the, like the character that they kind of showed, though, to kind of fight back, even though on the road, back to back? and. That's, that's one thing that I never doubt about this team. This team has a lot of character. This team has a lot of resiliency, and this team sticks together. So uh, we'll be better going forward. What did you make of the offense and the defensive rebounding as well that you saw in tonight's game? Uh, I, uh, I didn't think that we uh, handled well their pressure. Uh, we, we had a problem to get in our offense. We over dribbled the ball uh, several times. Uh, we still had 28, uh, uh, 28, actually we got uh, 30 assists tonight. Uh, but uh, um, we just uh, did not get with enough force early in the game. Our 23, uh, uh, 19 turnovers for 23 points was, was a big uh, deal breaker. And the defensive rebounding? Defensive rebounding as well. 15 offensive rebounds. We know when teams are at 15, 16 offensive rebounds, that, that's going to hurt us. Technical fouls tonight, kind of five. Just a team just trying to frustration, a lot of frustration kind of spilling over for the guys and just trying to battle back like that. I don't think it's a, it's a frustration. I just think it's a competitive nature and uh, just guys are, you know, they, they want to stand up, protect each other. And uh, I thought that we fought, you know. San Antonio ahead? will be the focus over the next couple of days other than rest. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a good day for us to travel and rest. Uh, we're going to have a, g- a great opportunity on Saturday to to practice. Uh, we did not practice for a second or here. So that's going to be a great opportunity for us to uh, continue to build, uh, continue installing stuff on offense and defense and get ready for San Antonio. Second on a back-to-back, obviously great performance yesterday. Didn't come out with the result today. What was the difference? Uh, they just came out there. We had some runs. We had some good moments, but you know, they just came out there to play with more energy. Uh, their defense was—they picked up on defense and caused us to uh, get some turnovers, uh, us to get stagnant on offense, and it just really changed the game. What are you seeing in your own game right now? Because you've had some consistent performances on the, especially on the offensive end, but as well on the defensive end. What What are you seeing this so far this season for yourself? I'm just going out there trying to bring every single night, just trying to win. Uh, that's my main thing. Uh, just trying to go out there and trying to chase winning, make impact on the floor. Every time I step on the floor, and just trying to go out there and be the best player out there on the floor, you know, just trying to stay dominant. Uh, but main thing is just trying to chase winning. It felt like the last two minutes of the first half, as well as the last two minutes of the third quarter, kind of got away from the team a little bit. Um, how do you address that? How do you tackle that going forward and making sure that you limit their runs? Say it again? How do you limit runs in the last two minutes of quarters? Oh, we just got to lock in and play play defense. I feel like that's just our main thing, just continue to stay locked in on defense. And then even on the offense, man, we just got to keep trying to find ourselves and keep moving the ball and just stick to what we're doing. Uh, we, we still had 30 assists today, but, you know, we just got to continue to get better and improve. Is one of the improvement points defensive rebounding because coach has 
uh, mentioned that before because when he says when you guys typically get in trouble, it's when they allow about 15 offensive rebounds, which was the case tonight. Uh, yeah, that, like like I said, it was it was a time where they started coming in there, getting offensive rebounds, crashing, wasn't boxing out. Uh, that we was getting stagnant on offense. On the other end, we just got to continue to improve, get better, box out, uh, focus on the game plan, and be a t be ready to be a t attentive to the details in the game.